Creating a home with great style isn't as hard or expensive as you might think. Get ready, we're about to start a trend. Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and we'll completely transform your space into a house of style. Wow! This weekend, I'm helping a couple with a kitchen makeover. Yes, I said a kitchen in a weekend. And here's why we can do this. This kitchen is not a gut. We are not ripping everything out. We're working with what we have and changing up the style and adding in a little more functionality. My goal this weekend is to show you that you can change a kitchen in a weekend and it doesn't have to break the bank. Guys, this is a really nice big space. Talk to me about the problems we're having with it. I think our biggest problem would probably be how it looks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Tani. We bought the house a little over a year and a half ago. We love the location, we love the school district, and we figured that at some point we'd be able to take the kitchen and make it something that we would like. Okay, so we don't like the way it looks. I will say right off the bat, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. You have a lot of space, which is good because you have a big family, but tell me what do we really dislike about this style-wise? Style-wise, it might be <laughs> So, <laughs> Hello, <laughs> my childhood, yes. right? Like these are what we all grew up with. <laughs> yes, it feels a little dated to me. Mm -hmm. And I think the color of the walls don't make it any less yellow. This kitchen, I feel like it has some things really good. like. These floors, they're chic, they're like a dark wood. I think they lean more modern. I even really like the countertops too. Yes. It's just a big miss with these <laughs> cabinets, right? Huge miss. A huge <laughs> miss. And even like the backsplash, great, workable, like modern appliances. The island seems really big. Um, it is really big. But there's only three seats. So when we sit all together as a family, it's kind of like we're a little, either one person standing. This is the main eating space for your whole home, yes. right? There's no dining room. No. So we are a family of five. We actually don't have enough space for all of us to sit in the kitchen. A lot of the times, poor Kevin is I'm usually- standing. I'm standing at the end of the island. The interesting thing about this kitchen is there's all this wasted space over there. So one of my big goals this weekend would be to kind of merge these two sides together and make sure we're fully utilizing your whole kitchen. Talk to me style-wise about where you guys wanna go. Um, so I think we're kind of leaning towards modern farmhouse. Okay. So you like some industrial elements to it. That's yes. like kind of your, you're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the farmhouse <laughs> side. But then the modern take on it, you don't want like country roosters, chicken. No, no, no. please no. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna be able to really change the look and feel of this kitchen and the whole style of it by doing some pretty small tweaks. Yes, yes, I love that. We need to load out the kitchen. We have to get everything out of the cabinets and everything. And I will tell you that our first project involves your cabinets. That's all I'm telling you for now, but oh. we need to take all the doors off. Okay, okay. All right? Yay! You getting excited? Yes. <laughs> Our first two projects are actually all about the cabinets and we're gonna kind of divide and conquer on them. We're gonna do a few things. We are gonna take down some cabinets. So this double cabinet here, we're gonna get rid of and replace with open shelving, okay? It's a great way to infuse some style in a kitchen and also since we don't love the cabinets, we don't need a million of them. You already have tons of storage. So that's one part. We are going to paint the cabinets. Okay, were you kind of thinking we might do that? kind of hoping we would do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are gonna paint them. I'm not gonna show you the color yet. And then we're also actually gonna add more cabinets. <laughs> That's interesting. Here's what I'm thinking. You have a large area above there and basically what build, these are builder grade cabinets. They come in a very like standard size and builder just throws them up. But taking your cabinets all the way to the ceiling is gonna add more of like a custom, we had these specially built for us feel. So we're going to put 12 inch cabinets all along there that will take us all the way to the ceiling, finish it off with a piece of molding. It's gonna look like you had them installed this way and they were always supposed to be this way. This sounds good? Yes. Sounds good. <laughs> so in order to do this, Kevin, you and I will work on the install. I'm gonna have you okay. take all the doors, get them outside. We're gonna paint outdoors, but we need all the hardware taken off. Okay. Cool? Great. 
You and I are gonna start by adding our upper cabinets and this process couldn't be easier, okay? Okay. It worked out really nicely that you had exactly 12 inches above there and 12 inch cabinets are totally standard size. So we can just pop them up there. Do you see how that like fits perfectly in there? Yeah, it's fits crazy? perfect. So the cool thing about this is we don't need to look for our studs at all. We can just kind of cheat and look below and wherever they screwed in these cabinets are already in studs. Oh, look at, what do you think? Oh my goodness. It seemed like it was hard to envision at first what I was describing. Does this make more sense? Right, yes. I'm actually really liking this. And now here's the thing, they still look really disjointed. Like I get that this doesn't look great yet, but after we paint these and add new hardware, it's gonna look like these were all installed together. Like right now, the two different colors are making it glaring that like, wait, you just added some cabinets at the yeah. top, but that's not gonna be the case. And we're gonna wait on this one because I have to make a few cuts here, but we need all three of us to get this cabinet down. <laughs> Okay, got it. Let's bring it, put it right down here. It looks like it took somebody a few tries to find a stud there. <laughs> Doesn't this already look so much more open? Definitely. Definitely does. Definitely. I also think it is going to help combine the kind of void empty side of the kitchen with this. So if you think about it before, the cabinets came to here and then they stopped. And it kind of said to you like, this is where the kitchen ends. But really the kitchen goes all the way over there too. So taking those down is actually going to visually help with the flow too. Like it's a really small change, but it's gonna make a big impact. And I'm not gonna leave them totally plain. Got you guys some floating shelves. We'll install it officially later but we can tier a couple of these here. They're gonna look really great. And then you have a place where we can add some style in this yes. room. You like it? I, I like do. it. I really do actually, I love this. And also, like I don't feel bad at all taking down your cabinets because we just added a ton of additional storage up there. Yes. What I really liked about these Allen and Ross shelves are the brackets. I think that screams kind of modern farmhouse to me. Like another changes? I'm liking it. And it's only oh, day oh. one. It's only day one, we've just gotten started. All right, thank you for doing all this prep. These look great. Yes. It was probably, you are very happy to get rid of that hardware. Throw it out. <laughs> Before we can actually do the painting, we have some prep work to do. So these have a bit of a gloss on them. So the first step we're gonna do is to hit them with a little bit of steel wool. That'll cut down the gloss a bit. Then we're gonna use Kills Primer. It's indoor or outdoor. Really what this is gonna do is help with the adhesion. It's gonna make sure that this new paint really grips onto this surface and it's not gonna easily chip. And to do this, we are going to use a paint sprayer. Have you ever Ooh. used a paint sprayer? No. So a paint sprayer is gonna get us that really factory finish, like seamless, like even look that we want. I can't wait to tell my dad that I'm doing this. Oh, is he like a... He's he, handy. He's, he's a handy man. Is he? Have you done a lot of projects with him, like growing up or? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, like installing new toilets, and like cleaning stuff out, yeah, like gutters and... Yeah, you're my people, all that totally. Fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it without him. Like he leads the way and I'm just like behind him, like da 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 like I'll watch you and... You, you can know. do it I can. You well, can. I feel confident now. Own. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna spray a couple of these and then I'm gonna let you do a ton of them on your own. So this is a really homeowner friendly sprayer because it doesn't need an air compressor. For our purposes, this is gonna work great. Not too shabby, right? Not too shabby. Okay. So a really light prime coat, the key is not spraying too much on. Okay. I feel like I'm ready. ready to tackle one? Yes. And I'm gonna step back a little. Okay. There's not a ton of overspray, but you're a rookie, so. Yes. <laughs> you look good doing that. How'd that feel? Oh, I kind of wanted to take a picture and send it to my dad because he <laughs> would probably fall off his chair. You know what? I have a few guys capturing it for yeah, you. Yeah, okay, great, great. <laughs> All right, these feel good, nice and dry. I feel like we've put in some hard work, so yes. you finally deserve to see the paint color. Yes, let me see. Let Are me you see. excited? Yes. I know, it's been a few hours. I've really made you wait. <laughs> you ready? Let's see. You ready? 
Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes? Yes. 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 We're going all in on the black. This is gonna look so chic, especially with the new addition of the upper cabinets. It's gonna be great. It's gonna look awesome with your floors too. Goodbye, honey oak cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> what we're doing here, this is cabinet and furniture paint. So this is actually considered like an enamel based paint. This is really where you're gonna get a super hard finish. We're not just using like the same paint we would put on a wall. How do you like it? I love it. You love it? Yes. You're grinning ear to ear, so that's yes. a good sign, right? I'm watching you paint. I'm like, either she's very manic or she's so happy Just about that. Just get the wall done. <laughs> I always say that paint is the most budget-friendly and high-impact way to impact a space, and that really goes for kitchens too. Like maybe tenfold, painting your cabinets if they're in good condition can save so much money. And seriously, these are going to look so different when we're done. Ready for some more tools? Ready. You seemed so excited yesterday with the paint sprayer. So I was like, okay, I have some wood I need to prep for our first project today. And I thought you definitely want to be part of it. Yeah? Yeah, I do. <laughs> How do you use this thing? This is a chop saw, also called the miter saw, and we're gonna use it to cut a bunch of wood. The only thing I'm gonna tell you about our first project that we're gonna do next is that this wood is gonna be attaching onto the walls of your kitchen somewhere. To do this, we need to cut two different lengths. I need to cut some pieces at 39 and some at 73 inches. And then to do it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this trigger and then I'm gonna slowly lower it down while I'm holding the wood in place. Feeling good? Yeah. Feeling nervous? A little. Don't need to be nervous. Like uh, lots of safety precautions, we're protected. I'm gonna have you practice on a scrap piece. So first, pull it down and see where the blade falls with your line. Man, hmm. you have done this before. No, you're like, oh, I do this all the time. <laughs> it's in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> so then whenever you're ready, you'll pull the trigger. Perfect. Feeling good? Yeah, let's, more do comfortable? Some more. let's do some let's more. Let's do some more, good. We have a lot of wood to cut. If you want to feel really cool, you can clip it on your pocket. <laughs> okay. Yes. There you go. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait. Oh yeah. <laughs> so legitimate. <laughs> she is ready for the weekend. <laughs> I loved using the power tools. I was a little intimidated by the chop saw, but I think I got the hang of it pretty quickly. So we have our wood all pre-cut, and we're really gonna be focusing on this wall. Remember how yesterday morning I was talking about how this side felt really disjointed? I thought about it more, and I was thinking, it's. I think it's because of that doorway. It almost feels like this is just a walkway to get out onto your deck. So by focusing on this wall, I think adding a little drama to it, adding a little visual interest and style to it, it's really gonna help kind of make it more of a focal point. So most people think modern farmhouse and they immediately think shiplap, right? Like it's the only possible material. I love shiplap, don't get me wrong, I've used it in a ton of projects, but we're gonna kinda take a nod from shiplap. So we're basically taking shiplap and turning it on its side. We're gonna do vertical molding. We're gonna do it in kind of a cool, modern, visual way. So let me kinda show you. Hold this one up. This is gonna go all the way to the ceiling, pretty close to the edge, okay? This next guy is gonna start lower and go here above maybe three inches over. And then this one will go about three inches away down. So you're gonna have these vertical slats that don't run all the way. So it's gonna have this really cool visual band that runs all across the middle there. What do you think? I like it. You like it? You're like, mm, not totally sure. And then we'll paint the whole thing after. But of course, okay. I'm not gonna show you the paint color yet. Oh, you're not? No, of course. Uh, Did you learn nothing yesterday? No, <laughs> no. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. You're gonna be buying a nail gun, I am. <laughs> Wait, what can I nail around the house? What can I do? You'll be walking around with your paint sprayer and your nail gun like, I got this, guys. I love when a homeowner gets so into a weekender project, and that was Tani this weekend. So I was planning to have Kevin help me a little bit more, but she was so into it that I'm just gonna have her keep working with me through a few extra projects today. 
Okay, you gotta step back and see. Okay. What do you think? I actually really like it. The actually means that you were doubting in the beginning. I was a little like, ah, oh, I gotta see it done. But now that I see it kind of done, I like it. It's cool, right? Yes. I think it kind of brings the wool to life. It was just kind of by itself and plain. I'm going with a neutral white for the rest of the walls. It'll work really well with the existing subway tile and also just lighten up the space. We have a lot of stronger dark colors happening right now, so it'll be a nice balance. All right, we're gonna jump into our second project. Obviously, it has something to do with your island. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, before I came this week and I asked for like feedback and what you loved and what you hated, and you mentioned that you absolutely love having an island, but you didn't love the butcher block on the top. Talk to me a little bit about that. Like, I see, I see some drawings. I'm assuming yes. those aren't yours. No, no, so my toddler does we, he does everything at the table. You know, it's been through a lot. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to keep up with. It is. So I do have a plan for the top, but then I was like, all right, if we're gonna swap out the top, why don't we also kind of infuse some style into the island as well? We're gonna do two different things to this. We're gonna start by removing the top, and we're also going to revamp the whole front face of it. We're gonna actually layer on something new, so. This is a piece of finished plywood. <laughs> How do you like a new island top? <laughs> I don't know what to expect here. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> this is not your new island top. So this is a piece of finished plywood and we're gonna actually put this on the front face of the island. We're gonna stain it a really rich color. I know we were getting rid of stained wood, but there's good stained wood and there's bad stained wood. Have you ever stained before? Never. Okay, this is super simple we're gonna wipe it on, okay? okay? And this allows us to control our application of it. We'll put it on and then we'll see what we think of the color. And if we wanna like make it lighter, we just rub it off quicker. And if we really like the deep richness, we let it sit and penetrate a little longer. The black is adding a lot of modern, yes. but I also wanna be sure that we also have some warmth and we have the farmhouse feel in there too. So we're gonna let it dry. We can see if it needs another coat, but I kind of like the color. How are you feeling about it? I do, I really like this. Yeah, I mean, look at it with the black glove. Like that's mm -hmm. gonna be like the black cabinet contrast. It looks really good. It's like pulling out those darker layers. All right, now that this is dried up, we can attach it onto the front. We're gonna use a combination of glue and screws that will screw in through the back. The existing piece ended here. I cut this so it goes all the way down to the floor. Again, kind of making it look more custom versus just a floating piece that was added in. So this thing is about a third of the way there and it's already looking so good. But we have the new top coming. It's gonna be a surprise. And we're also going to paint the rest of it. Matt and I are gonna take it from here. We have a couple more hours of work to do and then you can see your new kitchen. Yes. I'm so excited for you to see it. I'm excited. I had Matt build a farmhouse style bench for our eating area. And the reason I did that is that a bench is a great option if you don't have a ton of space and you're trying to add an eating area. The reason being is that this bench can go flush against the wall. So that means it's taking up a lot less space. You don't have to pull it out. You don't need to save clearance for behind. If we were to do chairs here, the table would have to be so much further out. Now we can tuck the table in a little bit closer. It's really helpful if you're doing like a small space design. And then I picked up these awesome pillows at Lowe's and they are gonna add the perfect farmhouse vibe. Swapping out the hardware on your cabinets is a great way to elevate the style, whether or not you're painting them too. For these cabinets, I'm going with a brushed gold. One little style tip is that you don't need to use all the same hardware. I'm using these longer thin ones on the uppers and then these cups that kind of have a little vintage feel to them on some of the drawer faces. You can mix and match and that again will give it a bit more of a curated high-end look without breaking the bank. One of the most impactful small changes we made to this kitchen was the kitchen island top. I knew that Tani and Kevin wanted to get rid of the butcher block, but I also decided to make it smaller. So went to Lowe's, chose a new Allen & Roth countertop. The Lowe's team came here, measured, fabricated it for us, and it fits this island so perfectly. I love the dark countertop in contrast with their existing white ones. It kind of gives you that tuxedo vibe, but the white veining ties it all together. It's going to be so much more functional for them, so much easier for upkeep and adds so much style. It's 
been a quick weekend and this space looks so different. I can't wait for you guys to see. On the count of three, you can open them. One, two, three. Open them. Oh, what? Oh my God. Oh, this looks so different. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know where to look. And oh a table that I can gosh. sit at. There's a, there's a bench. I know. I'm more just happy there's a chair. There's a, <laughs> he's just, he's like, bench, chair, everything, I'll wow, take this it. this looks I, phenomenal. I thought we were gonna lose space if we were to put a table in That's here. That's what I was and thinking. It feels so complete for somehow, like it feels, it feels like an actual kitchen. I've never seen black cabinets before. They look fantastic. They look great, right? They do. Gorgeous. And With the, the white. Yeah, even look at the hardware. The hardware it just ties it all in together. Mm -hmm. Those shelves are just, it's just beautiful. Look how everything right? you can put on there and it just kind of feels like a kitchen. It just... It does. You guys, I mean, we added so much storage up at the top. Your kitchen cabinets feel so much more custom now, don't they? Like, yes. you don't have that gap up at the top anymore. Can we just say bye-bye butcher block? <laughs> Bye bye butcher block. Oh, so it's different. It's a brand new Allen and Roth countertop, and it is so perfect in here. And guys, look, we made it thinner. That's why this whole kitchen seems so much bigger. I mean, it, we only took off six inches, but now you can sit at this breakfast bar, and it gave us plenty of room for a dining area. I'm not gonna lie, Monica. I was a little like I didn't know what to think of this. It looks so good. We didn't even need art on that wall because our molding is literally drawing your eye up and it is the art. And how the color just ties in with the stools and then the table just ties in. Everything just has like some type of, it just flows together. It ties it a style. together. It's a style. It's a yes. vibe. It's a style. And it's crazy. Everything in this kitchen is from Lowe's. So like the table, the furniture, your stools, the countertop, the paint colors, the art. Oh, you know what else? I have another little surprise I think you're going to absolutely love. You had mentioned when we first started talking that your dishwasher was broken. And luckily I know a great store that sells appliances. So Matt had just enough time we swapped out your dishwasher. Mm -hmm. No. Brand new. Oh, yeah. Brand new and it works. About that. <laughs> you guys. And we did this in a weekend. Like that's the crazy part is that we didn't thankfully have to gut this kitchen. Do you know what I mean? Like we worked with what you already had. It's insane. That's it looks amazing. so good. Yeah, everything came. You guys are so creative. I can't wait to bake in here. <laughs> I can't wait to bake. <laughs> Gotta love a weekender kitchen episode. I had so much fun making over this space. I would love to know what you guys think of it. So be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of this makeover. Everything you see in this space is from Lowe's and we'll put links in the description below and as always make sure you're subscribed to the Lowe's YouTube channel you don't want to miss a single episode thanks friends